Angels, welcome back to my channel. As you guys read in the title, today I'm going to be coming up with 10 new hairstyles that I've been seeing all over the internet for 2021. We are definitely in the era of bringing back the 90s and 2000s looks in our outfits, in our decor, and definitely in our hair and makeup. If you guys watch a lot of TikToks like I do, you'll see girls wearing all types of different looks, and I like to have fun with my hair. To be honest with you, like on a day-to-day -day basis, I'm really simple with whatever I do. I like to keep it down, or recently I've been using a lot of these sort of butterfly clips and clips to keep it all up because if you guys have watched any of my recent videos where I talk about my hair transformation it's much shorter than it used to be because I wasn't taking the best care of it when it was completely bleach blonde and I had a lot of breakage it has been it's been like since last year I think I did like a 10 spring hairstyles video last I don't know you guys seem to like those videos and I get a lot of requests for them so I just put some styles together in my little notepad and I'm gonna create them for you guys today on camera most of these styles are really simple but I'm gonna start with the easy so if you guys get bored you can exit out after the first five or so anyways I'm rambling if you guys are excited to see this video make sure you hit that thumbs up button subscribe to my channel and keep on watching well as you guys can see my hair is curled all I did is put a one inch wand through my whole head I don't have any products in it or anything like that it's just curled right now recently I have been obsessed with that clipped up look I see girls using it all the time with all different types of looks because you can dress it up or down so I'm gonna show you how I create that for myself it also really helps protect my hair from the elastics. Let me see, like these. These are what really killed me. I used to wear my hair in a messy bun like daily with these and just little by little I had all this breakage. Like look at how short that is. Oh, it's okay, we're not gonna talk about that. Anyways, get yourself a clip or something that's not going to break your hair. Just a little side note, these, oops, these are a perfect example of what I'm talking about. These are like those claw clips of all different shapes and sizes. This one's really cute and unique as well. And these are all from the Nuri collection. Pretty much all of the outfits that I wear in my posts, almost all of them are from the Nuri collection. It's a collection that I model for and they recently launched clips and sunglasses and purses. I'm obsessed with these, okay? I love them so much. If your hair isn't as long or as thick as mine is, then you might not need something this sturdy or large. You may need something more like this, which is just as cute. Nonetheless, I'm going to link all of these in the description below so you guys can click the website use my code angelina if you guys want a discount on your purchase but yeah i highly recommend these clips in particular all right so i'm going to turn to the side for this first look all you're going to do is collect all of your hair in the bottom of your head and twist it at the bottom of your neck now i'm going to grab it and fully twist it and pull it upward. So as you can see, I'm just pulling it, stretching it straight up. Now I will be grabbing this clip and clamping it. And I'm just gonna kind of like tug up a little bit on it and then let the pieces kind of do whatever they do. And just let them fall like a waterfall. Pull a couple of hairs down. That's what we're working with. You guys can pull more hairs down. I know that this style looks really cute with curtain bangs as well. If you guys have curtain bangs, you can pull them out. And it's literally like so cute. It gives me Britney Spears vibes for some reason. Like all the colors I'm wearing right now. But yeah, as you guys can see, this is out of my face. I can edit, I can grocery shop, I can walk the dog. I can do whatever with this look and it's not really causing too much harm on my hair. So yeah. I'm a huge fan. So that is hairstyle number one. Now for the next look, it's going to be basically the same exact thing, except for I'm going to show you how you'll tuck all of your hair in. This is really good for people who have long hair. Maybe it's a day that you haven't like ironed it or styled it and your hair's going crazy and you want to like tuck it all in. This is perfect for that kind of day. It's the same exact thing, collect it at the bottom of your scalp and you're going to twist it the same way, but you're going to twist it all the way to the ends. Then you're going to bend it in half downward. And then the end pieces, if you know, depending on how long your hair is, you're going to keep bringing around like a cinnamon roll and tuck it under. Next, you'll grab another clip. I'll use this one this time. And you're going to clip the entire thing. Again, pulling up on it for a little volume at the top. And any little pieces you can just kind of like reclip and tuck in there, like this one. As you can see, this really holds everything together. I personally like the other one a little better, but this one you can kind of make a little cuter by pulling hairs down. Like I always pull these down. This style also, in my opinion, looks a little cuter with a side part, but you know, it's just your the, the type of hair you have, your preference, everything. This is like something I would wear to clean in because it's like, there's no pressure up here from like a hair tie, you know? And it holds it all up and I'm like, good to go. So. 
that's what it is. For my third look, I'm going to be creating pretty much the same concept, except for it's going to be half up, half down. This is for a day where you want your hair out of your face, but you have styled it, so you'd like some hanging. So I'm gonna take from right above my ears and then just straight back. Separate that from the rest of the hair, like so. And then I'm gonna pull some pieces down already just because there's kind of a lot of hair and I'm gonna use a smaller clip this time. So I just wanna make sure it's gonna be able to hold everything. Now I'm going to basically create like a little cinnamon roll by twisting up half of this hair and then leaving the rest hanging out. And then creating a little cinnamon roll type thing. And then I'm gonna clip it. I'll just use this clip. And then take these little hairs and sort of fluff them out. I think it looks cute. I kind of like that like bird waterfall looking sort of <laughs> vibe, but that's just me. And then I actually like how this kind of looks like messy at the top. And yeah, that's what it looks like. It's super flirty and chill and cute. There you have it. That's look number three. Take that bad boy out. My shoulder just cracked. I know I'm getting old. My joints crack all day. Okay, for this next one, it is also going to be half up, half down, but a little bit more simple and poised. I'm going to take about an inch wide on each side of my bangs, and I'm just gonna kind of grab a couple pieces from the side as well. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then push the rest to the back, and then the same with this side. Now I'm going to be taking both sides and twisting them away from my face, like so long enough to where it can reach the center back of your head for each side. I curl my hair in this direction anyways, so it kind of like helps out. And then I'm going to turn around for you. Here in the back, they'll be meeting, and I'm going to just cross them. Once they're crossed like this, I'm going to take a cute clip when it's sideways. With one hand, I'll be holding it, and with the other, I will be taking the clip and clamping it down. And then of course, you can release the twists. Really pretty, simple, twisted back and pulled out of your face. I think this would look really cute for wedding or honestly for anywhere. This is like that good hair to wear if you're like getting in a car with the windows down so it's not like blowing all in your face. You know what I mean? So this is look number four. All right, this next one is super simple but I've seen this everywhere this year. You are literally keeping all of your hair down and then just taking two pieces in the front and making them into small braids. I'll just fast forward through this because I'm sure you know how to braid. I'm gonna take this much of my hair. It's including all of my bangs and then only enough hair on my scalp to stop like right at my temple. And then I'm just gonna be braiding directly downward. Tying it with a clear elastic. I guess this is like what the kids are doing now. I don't know if I would actually wear this out, to be honest with you. It would really probably just be for like an Instagram picture with a certain outfit or something. It's not really my vibe, but it does look super cute on some girls and I've seen a lot of girls wearing it. And yeah, that's hairstyle number five. So I'm just going to take both of these and tie them together. So I'm just going to tie them right underneath where my chin is. And then what you're gonna do is literally just flip it backward. After you flip it over your head, I keep knocking the stupid light over. You'll notice in the back, it creates this sort of crown look and you can slide it down as far as you want. That is like the easiest thing ever. And it's actually super cute. So you've kind of got like that little flower girl, not flower girl, like hippie sort of boho look. It keeps your hair out of your face and it's really easy to do, especially if you have a hard time clipping your hair at the back of your head by yourself. So that is look number six. All right, now this next style is super popular right now. I've been seeing this all over TikTok and on Instagram. And basically we're just going to be putting our hair in a high pony on the top of my scalp, which I love to do anyways. Um, you guys can do this in the back of your head as well, but I just think it looks cuter when it's higher up. So I'm just gonna flip my hair over and pull it up. Now you're just gonna need a few of these elastics and this part's really simple. You're gonna take an elastic and put it over your ponytail about, depending on how long your hair is, is how long you wanna put the little bubble. So I'm gonna just put mine that far down. Now I'm gonna start pulling it apart like a little bubble. Then I'll take another one and add it again. 
and then create a second bubble by pulling hairs apart. I wonder if, which Disney princess wears her hair like this a lot. Is it Jasmine? I can't remember. I'm gonna take another one. Dude, my hair used to be like all the way down to here in a ponytail. It's crazy. So I'll add this one right here. Pull the pieces apart again and then I guess I'll do one more now I will give you this pointer at least for me my hair is much longer in a ponytail when it's a low ponytail so if you guys are wanting a long braid I mean if you guys are wanting like that long ponytail look with like lots of little bubble shapes then for me I would do it lower on my scalp the further up I put my hair the shorter my ponytail gets yeah you can kind of play with it bubble it up more if you want. Part of me just wants to put it low just to see what it would look like. And I'm just gonna do the exact same thing, just creating the bubbles a um, couple inches apart. And that is it completed. As you can see, it looks so much longer when I do it like as a lower ponytail. This is super trendy right now. I think it's cute, am I obsessed with it? Not really but I think it depends on the outfit you're wearing too. Complete it by pulling a couple of these pieces down. Just to give you an idea of what it looks like with this cute little scrunchie on, I'll put it on. I kind of like that it covers the hair tie and the length of the ponytail kind of like fits the scrunchie a lot better. That is look number seven. I don't know why a lot of these hairstyles remind me of like looks that I did when I was younger. So I know that this is like 2021 hairstyles, but I'm sure you guys have done some of these at least before or at some point in your life maybe. This next style brings me back to childhood. So I'm going to part my hair all the way down the middle. So parting it all the way down the middle, all the way to the back and pulling the sides forward. You're gonna need two elastics for this part. All I'm going to be doing is putting my hair and pigtails but make sure that you leave a couple pieces out in the front like that I would say and then pulling all of this up this is literally something my mom used to put in my hair when I was a little girl now you're just gonna take it and put it in a whole braid And I'm gonna do the exact same thing to this side. So as you guys can see, this is why I said it kind of reminds me of like literally the early 2000s when I was a little girl. I was born in 96, so I would've been four in 2000. When I was like going to gymnastics and dance and everything, my mom was always doing like different things with my hair because it was always like all the way down to my waist. And I definitely remember this. I don't know if it was as popular then to have these. I think I had like straight across bangs at the time, but you guys get the gist. I think this would make for really cute IG photos, but no, I would not wear these out right now just because I literally feel like a little girl. But that's not to say that you guys shouldn't wear it. I know that it looks really cute, especially with certain outfits and certain color schemes, but yeah, I literally feel like I am Britney Spears right now with all of this colors and everything going on. So that is look number eight. Guys, today I was so mad. I went through torture just to get some iced coffee and I know the addiction is going to sound real right now but I went to Dunkin they're like we can't take orders our system is down I'm like okay I went across the street to Starbucks they're closed they had a random power outage so I drive all the way like 15 minutes down the road to get a coffee and I go to that Starbucks and I wanted Dunkin to begin with I already finished this coffee it was good but like Dunkin just comes with so much more coffee so I was so mad I was like what the hell put me back like an hour filming this for this next style I'm going to take my finger from right above my ear and go upward right toward the middle of my scalp right here I'm just gonna take a portion about this wide I'm going to tie it up with a little clear elastic oh and don't forget like the thing nowadays is leaving these little bangs down so I think it does actually make it really cute though it adds like a little touch you know but I'm gonna tie this my little press on nails are like breaking now lots of people do space buns those are cute I've seen those like around for a long time but I'm not going to be doing space buns I'm actually going to be doing the bubbles like I was telling you just taking your elastic and every inch or two add it to your ponytail puff it out like a little bubble then of course grab it do you want a little lower I think you guys get it. <laughs> Just keep going all the way to the bottom. I'm sorry I'm like looking in the viewfinder and in the mirror so much during this video. I have to see what I'm doing. And then of course you can puff them out as much as you want just by pulling them apart. I'm gonna do this side and be right back. 
So as you guys can see, this is both sides put together. This definitely adds a little something extra to your ponytail because it's like different texture. It gives you a little bit more volume and width, you know, with your hair. I definitely think it would look best with curls um, just because they are like bubbly, you know, and like curls are. But it might look cute with straight hair too. I'm not so sure. Or like with like a ringlet look. But yeah, this is really girly, really flirty and cute. And I've been seeing this on TikTok a little bit. So this is look number nine. So this is the final step and the one I'm most excited for. I feel like I always like to save my easiest and best for last. This is like that really gorgeous sleek high pony. I'm actually gonna do a side part for this one and I'm gonna go ahead and pull these bangs just like this together and this is what I'm gonna be pulling basically to the side of my head. Now for the rest of my hair, I'm going to pull right above my ear on both sides all the way up to the crown of my head. We're going to be making a half up, half down look. And I'm gonna go ahead and put this in a ponytail holder, like so. Now with the remaining hair, you can go ahead and take these little elastic that was holding it out. The trick that I recently learned, I think I actually learned it from TikTok. TikTok is everything. So I'm gonna collect all of these little strands of hair, make sure that they're pretty sleek. If I was like going to wear this out, I'd probably use some like hairspray or something, but just for the sake of the video, I won't. And I know girls can do like really cute like waves and things like that. I don't know how to do that. But you're basically going to pull this straight down. I'm just gonna pull just a little bit out and then take this behind my ear. Make sure everything is really sleek lay it flat. The trick is to find a little piece of hair back here that you're going to tie this piece to to keep it out of the way. Bobby pins never hold for me, neither do clips. So when I found out this trick, I was like, yes. So I'll turn and kind of try to show you. I'm basically going to take, let's say this piece right here, this random little piece down here, separate it from the rest. And that is what I'm going to be tying this piece of hair to. I'm sure it'll help to pull your hair all on this side. And you can pull it as tight as you want. And that's like the beautiful thing about this hair tie is it's gonna hold it. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing, okay? So now it's just like a little under ponytail and the rest of your hair will go right over it. So you have this adorable Ariana Grande type vibe half up half down pony. You can tighten it, loosen it, do whatever you want to do with it. You can wrap a little hair around here if you want to hide that ponytail or even put in a scrunchie or something. Make it your own, you know? That is basically the gist of it. And look how cute that is. Like, I love it. I love it. It gives me total 90s vibes, especially with the shirt that I'm wearing right now. I would definitely sleep, sleep this down if I was wearing it out. That is the final look. This one's totally Ariana Grande to me. It's definitely my favorite style. I just think it's so cute and so feminine. I hope you all enjoyed this video today. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. I had a hairstyles video do really well here on this channel. I think it's like my third most popular video. So like, share, comment, subscribe, and hopefully we can push this video out and give others some ideas for their hair. I don't know, all of these looks kind of make me feel like pretty, they're nostalgic, and they're just something else to do with your hair when you like are just bored, you know? Comment in the comments which one is your favorite, and yeah, let me know any requests that you guys wanna see or any type of hair videos you wanna see. And I will see you all in my next video. I love you so much, angels. Hope this was helpful, and God bless.